Glory to God. Glory to God. Father, we bless you and thank you for the word of God tonight. Lord, we ask that you would increase us in faith, that we might know you even greater and greater, that our trust will be in you, and you would show us great and mighty things in Jesus' name. The people of God said, amen, amen and amen and amen. Hebrews chapter 11, silence your phones. Let me try that. Let me try that now. You know, Jesus, Lord, silence your phones. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on up, Pastor. Come on. Come on up. Yeah. Silence your phones. Silence your phones. Do that, please. Jesus' name. All right. All right. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. What does it say? Without faith. Well, for without faith, it is, impossible it is impossible to please God. Glory to God. And so um, Mark eleven twenty two says, have faith, have faith in God. Okay, good. So the whole essence is that we can turn our faith to God, have faith in God. Our total trust is in him. Amen. And in that, we are going to now please the Lord. Amen. Um, and our whole desire and our whole mindset is that is just that. All right. So we're saying also that um, there is a process, right? But we're allowing God to have the results. Why? Because he is the alpha and the omega. And we at best see the alpha. We at best see the beginning, but we don't get to see the end. The results of the thing actually um, is him. Are you with me? And so no matter what we, matter of fact, so we also come to this understanding no matter what we face, however we face it, we keep our trust in God. Okay? All right? Are you with me? We keep our trust in God that God's going to make it happen because all things work together for the good to who? Them that are the called according to his, his purposes. And we now understand that. And if we understand that all this stuff is working according to his purposes, he's going to make it work for us. Amen? All right? So if God's making it work for us, glory to God. If God's making work for us, then it's going to turn out to our good. And if he spared not his own son, uh, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him freely give us what? All things. All things become ours because he is bringing things according to his purpose his own divine will amen? amen that's where we are right so when we face issues as james says we're in james chapter one going back there for a moment we're going to try to launch further if y'all do good tonight we're in early as if y'all do good it's not me it's only y'all if you are catching it and moving along with me and getting the information by revelation and I sense that you got it we can go home early but if you don't then we got to stay here till we pound it through into your soulish soulish resistance <laughs> so it's all on you Amen? Amen. All right. Okay, so let's see how it works out. So, you know, your 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 amens will prove if you're getting it. If you're looking at me sideways like I'm from another planet, we keep going. Amen. Don't say amen for just say amen though. <laughs> don't you don't you be trying to fool the Lord. The Lord will find you out. The Lord will find you out. The Lord will find you out. Ain't no question about it. Okay, so so he says in verse 2, my brother counted all what? Joy when you do what? When you fall into many kinds of temptations. He says, knowing this, that the trying of your faith work is patience. And so this is where we were last Thursday, um, the trying of your faith. So this is, so write this down, that God is going to test my faith in him. 
Why? God, Jesus told you, have what? Faith in, faith in God. So God's going to test your faith in him. How, how is he going to test your faith? He's going to test your faith by allowing you to face something in your life that only he can fix to see if you will try to fix it. Did you hear what I just told you? He's going to, he's going to allow something to come across your life that only he can fix to see if you're going to try to fix it rather than just trust him. Okay? And um, years ago, years and years and years ago, God told me this. He said, if I find your fingerprints on the doorknob, I will not open the door. Wow. If your fingerprints are found on the doorknob, then it's your responsibility to open the door. It's the same thing I tell you about when I hold a door open for a lady to walk through it. I don't want her putting her hands on the door. Do you, do you understand that? So I'm holding the door and she come touch the door. Why you touch that door? How many of y'all are guilty? How many ladies guilty? Come on. How many ladies? <laughs> see, see, see how guilty you are? Why, why you touch the door if I'm holding the door? If I'm holding the door, your hand don't need to come near the door. I mean, you don't trust that I'm going to hold the door. It's almost like what I'm going to do, slam it in your face now? I was holding it for you, and now you coming through, I'm going to slam it on you, right? No. Just walk through without touching it. You touched it because you want to be involved in the process. Also, for the body of Christ, you want some glory. Who? Jeez. You want to say that you were a part of the process. I prayed. I fasted. I... I sacrificed. I... Not, not God did. God changed. God redeemed. God, God did all of this. <laughs> See, Jesus had to speak to the fig tree. He had to speak to the fig tree, but he didn't. He didn't account his speaking to the fig tree as anything. What did he say? Have faith in God. He didn't say because I spoke to that tree. He won't end the process. You see that? He didn't give any explanation of him or what he did. They saw what he did. It was not important. But who did it? The father did it. I'm telling you, if you will understand what I've been talking about over these last several weeks, you will have grown tremendously past, I'm telling you, past a large portion of the overall body of Christ. Because they don't have faith in God. They have faith in their, uh, their, in their faith. Mm -hmm. They have faith in their ability. Because somebody done told them that they must do something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. My question to you then though, but what did you do to get saved? Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> Not a thing, did you? Mm -hmm. you, you? You didn't save you. Mm -hmm. Right? Even, but did you pray a prayer? Yep. Yes. Did you ask for, did you release? Yes. Yeah, so you could say, I did all that. No, you, you could have done all of that and still not been saved. Okay? You know, there are people who have done all that. Still not living saved. Is that, is that making any sense to you? Okay, but so you are saved by the hand of the Lord only. So he gets all the glory for your salvation. Listen, write down, I done told you this before, but write these statements down. These are tweetables, they are Facebook, Facebookables, um, Instagrammables, uh, all of these things. But watch this, listen, listen to me really, 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 really close here. You've got to get this. The way you were saved is the way you must live. <laughs> oh my goodness. Did you catch that? The way you were saved is the way you must live. How were you saved? By what? No, you weren't. But come on, what's that in? By grace are you saved. Through what? Through faith. Okay? So by grace are you saved through faith. Look at the two that's going together. Grace is giving you what you don't deserve. Is that right? So you didn't have nothing to do with this process. You, you received the gift. By grace are you saved through the faith that you had in the one to save you. Right? 
And most of you ain't had no serious faith because you didn't know him. Now, how, now, guess, check it out. The greatest thing that happened in your life is your salvation, and you didn't even really know God when you got saved. Now you say you know God. Or, the Bible says, or rather are known of God. Look at all that coming together stuff. See how the scripture come together? Yep, you see, but known of God. And so now, my trust in God should be greater than when I first got saved. Amen. So, in, so in my, so, so, so again, I should be greater than when I first believed. Yeah. Come on, come on, this, yeah. come on there. See all that the song, yeah. greater than when I first believed. Why? Because when I first believed, I really didn't know him. I trusted somebody else's relationship with him that that came to me. Somebody had a relationship with him that that I didn't have, but I trusted their relationship. And in trusting their relationship, through faith, am I saved? Amen. It really was not really, really was not my faith. It's more their faith than my faith. Yes, sir. Come on, are you with me? Yes, sir. Okay. You shall, and he says, you shall be saved. Mm-hmm. In that instance, that, that, that shall be means process. Yes. Okay. So there's so 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 again. The same way you got saved, the same way you should live, allowing it to be all God, all the glory, all the glory. Touch not my glory. Reach not out for my glory. Don't put your hand towards my glory. Don't even attempt to come after my glory. Let me have it all. Celebrate my glory. You see? See? Again, what I'm telling you Man, I'm back. How did, how did I get stuck on that verse again? <laughs> well, I'm telling you, everybody who gets saved can do this. This is the simplicity of the gospel. By grace are you saved. Live that way. Live in the grace of God through faith. Live in the fact that God wants to supply for your life through your believing him. Live that way. Everything you do. Everything you do. God, I know you're going to do this. I know you want to do this. I know you've already do that, done this. Why? Because why? All, all things were done before the foundation of the, world. of the world. So, and then, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. And so here, all of this stuff is before yeah, I even got here. So you already set stuff in order before I got here. Now, watch this. God, I trust you to live the life you designed for me before I was born. Yes, Lord. Somebody need to write that down. I'm trusting you to live the life that you designed for me before I was even born. I'm trusting you to bring me into the life that you designed for me before I was even born. God, I also trust in you that every resource that I need will be provided for me to live in the life that you designed for me before I was born. (laughs) I was engaged to be married four times. (laughs) See how quiet I got in the room? Got quiet in the room. I've been married 38 years now. To one woman. But I was engaged four times before I met her. Matter of fact, when I met her, I was engaged to a woman. When I met her, I was engaged to get married to a woman. She was my friend. She was, and she was not trying to um, scoop in and take me, even though I was a good catch. <laughs> and all of that, you know, you got to see the brother. You got to see the brother. You got to see the brother pictures. You know, he, brother was dapper, man. He he want no joke, man. Come on, he won't always ball, journey, journey. He had hair. Twin, I had hair, man. 
You don't believe me. You looking at me all sideways like, like I ain't never have had. <laughs> uh, had muscles and stuff and, you know, dapper. She wasn't impressed. She wasn't. She wasn't. But we were friends. So it wasn't like she was trying to do anything, da, 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 da. Okay? But the life that God had designed for me before I was even born had her in it. Amen. Amen. And the reason why he didn't allow those other four things to happen mm -hmm. is because she was in it. Mm -hmm. That's right. Wow. That's right. That's good. So when we did start seeing one another, she got in trouble once one weekend. I can't tell you what she did, but she got in trouble. <laughs> and when she got in trouble, I said to the Lord, because this is who I was in those four engagement type of things this is who I was I said okay women in my life they run like buses you miss one you catch the next one father Jesus <laughs> yes he did Lord have mercy Jesus. you miss one you catch the next one oh my gosh that's how they that's it so that yes she got in trouble yes she did get in trouble so I'm in Y'all don't, don't remember all this. This, this, this Mother Bobby and them need to be here. Y'all too young for this. But we used to hang up our clothes on the outside yeah. and let them dry on the line. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We ain't had no dryers. It was, come on, them clothes out there all day swinging. You, young, yeah. But you had to go, you, come on, you ain't never had to go out there and get them off the line. Yeah, you see, <laughs> clothes pins. Come on, somebody. Y'all don't know what y'all talking Y'all don't know nothing about that. Y'all. Y'all ain't that old. <laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Oh, look, I, I was thinking about it the other day. Somebody was talking about it. I was thinking about it the other day. Old fashioned um, washing machines with the ringer where you had to make, where the clothes had to go through the two rollers. Y'all don't know what I'm talking Anybody know what I'm talking about? I got in real serious trouble one day. Get ready to put my hand up through the roller, trying to see what it would do. Y'all, you you did it. Greta said she did hers. All right. Disobedient. I was being disobedient too. So so <laughs> you had to you had to try it. You know you had to see if it see if you had to try it right. See if it go through. So that was the only drying process. And then you had to hang them clothes up out there. You know. You either you had to hang them up and then go back and get them. Praise yeah, God. Get them in the basket. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Come on, come on. Bugs all on the clothes because they done got stuck to the clothes. Y'all know. My wife know nothing about what I'm talking about. <laughs> you you seen it, but you ain't have to do it. You ain't do nothing. <laughs> My wife always been rich. <laughs> <laughs> With that, that, look, living in, living in my neighborhood where she lived, that's what we said to said about them. They, they, they rich folk over there. Don't go over there in their neighborhood. Them the rich people. So, but, but what happened is, so I'm out there taking clothes off the line. She done got in trouble. This is, this is, she done got in trouble in the afternoon. And then that night, I'm mad. I'm still mad. And I'm taking clothes off the line. And I'm throwing this <laughs> stupid self. Uh, and the Lord said to me if she is not in your life you have no ministry and I stopped in my tracks and said who is she that's what I said just like that out, in, out there if somebody if somebody would be like what's wrong with this boy <laughs> who is he talking to up in the air like that I was like who is she because you never said that to me about any other person that if they're not in my life, I have no ministry. And at that time, I'm after ministry now. I won't after, I won't after women. I was after ministry. And, and I said, okay. And I told her, she knows it. She knows it's the truth. I told her the next day, I said, I had kicked you. You were gone. <laughs> now, in her mind, she's thinking she don't care. Yeah. <laughs> she had the bus, she had the bus thing going on too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and in our ministry with Bishop Boone, you know, none of us were married. It was 
everybody that is married now out of our ministry, we were all single folk. We were, you know, so, you know, it was enough women up in that church to kick her and find another one because everybody was looking for everybody at that time. But the Lord said, no, that ain't happening. So I had to look, I had to repent for something I had that I ain't do when she was the one that was wrong. Okay. But God was saying, if she is not in your life, then you ain't going to have a ministry. What is he, what is he, what was he dealing with? I have set this up. And now watch, this is what I realized. Years and years and years later, I realized this. The reason for our coming together was for four girls to be born. You ain't hear what I just told you. That it, 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 as much as it was about us, it really wasn't about us totally. It was about the four people that would be born as a result of us because God had purpose also in them that they have to fulfill beyond us. Do you hear me? And until you say to God again, bring me into thy life. You, you follow me? Yeah. That you that you prepare according as you have chosen me before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blame before you in love. Yeah. The reason why and how you raise the children you have has to do with the purpose of God in your life that God has now given them to you based on their uh, 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 overall purpose. Yeah. That they are to fulfill an overall purpose yeah. that that why? That's why you had them. You had them because you have to fulfill an overall purpose and they have to keep it going. Yes. So God bring us into. Yes. 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 That's good. Do you hear me? Yes. So, so in, in, in my life now, Ezra is the fulfillment of the purpose of God yes. in me, yes. the purpose of God through us, yes. the purpose of God in Carmen. Right. Are you with me? Yes. Bring forth Ezra. The purpose of God, the purpose, see, okay, hold on, my goodness, are y'all getting this? Yes. Look, so when Derek was a teenager, Carmen's husband, when Derek was a teenager, we were commit, asked to christen my, my cousin. You, you saw my cousins that got baptized, that came in and got baptized, the three children that got baptized. The son, the oldest, we were commissioned. We, my cousin asked me, will you come and christen Miles at the house? Yes. So when Miles, as a baby, now he's in here as a 20, 20 some year old man. When he was a baby, we went to christen him. Well, at that christening, Derek was at that christening as a teenager. Oh, y'all not hearing me. That's good, that's good, that's good. I don't know Derek. I really don't have no interaction with Derek. But that was God now bringing Derek into the, the purpose. Yes. Wow. Yes. Y'all ain't hearing me. We didn't know Derek's mama, nobody. But my first cousin is good friends with Derek's mama. That's why they were there. Wow. So... So all the all these years ago, all these years ago, we go through all this and we got this baby Carmen, Jesus, that was that's older than Miles. Okay? That's older than Miles, and she's growing up. She's growing up. Derek's growing up. Uh-huh. They're growing up together. Uh-huh. God sent Derek all the way overseas in the military. He does a military thing. She go all through her life. She do the love thing. And now she decides to look online and they start meeting on, they met online. Now, wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. He was in the meeting with me 20, 20 years ago. Wow. Y'all hear me? They go through their life and they meet online. Yeah. What are the odds in them meeting online? That's true. That's true. And, and, and Lord's knowing my first cousin mm -hmm. like that, we don't know her. Yeah. Right. So when they meet, Keith calls, Keith says, so I hear that Derek and Carmen are dating. Mm -hmm. 
I said, yeah. I said, how you know Derek? Because yes. Wow. Yes. I'm, I'm serious. How you know? He said, oh, that's Lois' son. Yeah. You know Lois and Kim? I said, no. I don't have, no, I don't have none of that. Are you here? Do, y'all not hearing me. You're not hearing me. And so what happened? They get married, da da da. I know, I saw I saw doing the dominoes. Yep. What? Yes. Is that who you are? Yes. Come on. Yes, Lord. Based on listen, based on give me the word. Faith and according as I have Purpose. Cho- purpose. purpose. Chosen you before the foundation of the world. Why did God go through bringing, Der- getting Derek and Carmen together? Purpose. Yep. Yes. Why? Say it. Ezra. Yes. Their union is about Ezra. Yes. And all of the other ones that's going to come because that who's going to fulfill the purpose of the overall purpose. Yes. That's wow. good, sir. I understand that. That's good. And nobody's doing that but God. That ain't, I ain't, I'm not doing that. That's the truth. I understand. I don't have no ability to do that. This is all God. All I can say, God, bring us into the purpose. Yes. Yes. That's good. Amen. That's good. I'm trusting you to bring us into the purpose. Everything that we need, God, I'm trusting you to bring us into the purpose. Everything we need, God, bring us into the purpose. Yes. That's good, sir. We prayed for these da- these daughters when they were born. As they were growing, we prayed if they don't fit in our life, don't let them be. That's true. I know that's right. That's true. We didn't, again, we still didn't really know at the time. Even though we're praying it, we're not praying it from where I'm telling you right now. We're not praying it from that understanding. We just didn't want no knuckleheads messing with our children. Do you understand what I'm talking about? So we're praying it from a position of protection, but it also had purpose in it. Yes, sir. Amen. So that the knuckleheads that have come around that ain't right, they dismiss themselves. Right. They can they can sniff for a minute. Mm-hmm. But the Holy Ghost, <laughs> Holy Ghost said, "You don't fit the purpose. Right. You can sniff, but you're gonna get out of here, That's right. right? Because the purpose is important, That's right. and it don't have, and it really don't have nothing to do with it. Don't necessarily have nothing to do with their faith. That's right. It has to do with our faith. That's right. Y'all ain't hear what I just told you. Yes. Their faith may not be there, but my faith is already there." Yes. According as he has chosen us yes, right. in him before the foundation. Yeah. I'm trusting you, God. You're gonna bring it forth, you're gonna bring it forth right. Yes. The right one is coming. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's good. The right one's coming. The right one's coming. You see? That's good. And you and, and when the right one comes, you you know, oh my God, that's the perfect one right there. That's the truth. Is, is that making any sense to you guys? Yes. It see, is. see, I passed by Charity and Von Zell and all that, and went right to Charity and Carmen because I wanted you to understand how God did that thing. Yes. That thing, that thing is crazy. That's amazing. Yes. You see, that, that that that's a serious thing. It's like a full circle, right? Yes. You see, you see what I'm talking about? But it's all according to what God had for us as a purpose. Yes. And if so, watch. Let's go all the way back to my story now. What if I had kicked her that night? And she well, don't be frowning like you don't care. You know you care. <laughs> you know you care. <laughs> well, if I kicked her that night, look over to your right. Poof. Poof. They just disappear. Both of them disappear. Poof poof. Two more at home. Poof poof. That's right. Disappear. That's right. Those two men may be in the earth, but they ain't got them to. That's right. That's right. And so none of the grandchildren are That's right. born. Israel's not here. That's right. Because I, in my flesh, That's right. in my anger, mm-hmm. made a decision that was outside of the purpose. Yes. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Without without finding the purpose. 
That's good, Bishop Jeff. Come on, are y'all with me here? Yes. And, and just destroy something. Could I have had a good life? Oh, absolutely. And he would, watch this, and he would have, he would have repurposed me. Right. Yes. And somebody says, you know, um, I married the wrong person. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. Not once you get married. Yeah. You, it, it's before you get married that's the wrong person. Preach, Bishop Jackson. But once you get married, it is absolutely the right person. Yes. Because now new purpose has been designed. That's right. To get you to the same place you would have gotten to with the right purpose. Wow. Y'all, that was too much for you, wanted. Yeah. That that was too much. For you. That was too much for you because only God can make the wrong right. Yes. That's right. right. Amen. That's good, Bishop. Only he can do that. Nobody else can do that. If it's wrong with anybody else, it can't ever get right. But with God, he makes what's wrong right. He told you that in Romans chapter 8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before you get married, there's the wrong person. That's when you don't listen. Once you get married, there's the right person. And then, and then, how do you make God, how do you get God to function in the marriage? God, this is a perp- you, you got purpose for this marriage. Make it work. Yes. God, make it work. My my faith and trust is in you. Make it work. I glorify you already for making it work. If the marriage is great, what are you saying? God, you you did a great job bringing us together. But God, this ain't the end of it. It's good, but it ain't great. So God, make it great. Make it great and make it what you design it to be because it's not what you design it to be. Coming home from work, sitting down, looking at television, come on, enjoying one another, talking together. That ain't what you design this to be. It has to be greater than that. Yes. If that's all it is, if that's all it is, come on, then we, we, we fail. But it's more than that. Y'all know you have a great, you have greatness for us. My Lord. See? Amen. See? That's good. That's very good. My, my whole ministry, I tell people all the time, my whole ministry because I had the right woman. Amen. My ministry is not because I'm such a great minister. My ministry is because I had the right woman. That's good. Why? Because she fit the purpose. Fit the purpose. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. And she raised them children. <laughs> she, she raised them children so I could go out there and do that ministry. Mm-hmm. She get all the credit for that. I give. I don't tell nobody. I get no credit for it. I said it's all Joe Andrew. It was all Joe Andrew. Good, it was Joe Andrew taking them and to places and doing stuff with them. And it, was I involved? Absolutely, totally. I was not an absenteeer, but I as much as I could. But they knew if 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 it was between the kingdom and them, they lose. Mm-hmm. That's how they knew. They knew that about me. They lose. I don't care what you do. I don't care. I. I Birthday party, I got to, <laughs> I got to go preach. I ain't gonna be in no birthday party. I'm going to preach. See, but if I'm home, I'm right up in there. But this girl, she made sure she asked me the other day, why are these girls so serious about these birthday parties? I said, it's you. <laughs> you did it. It won't on me. <laughs> you did it. I said, I said, she said, but we ain't like that. We, neither one of us got all that. We, we had birthday, we don't even know it came. <laughs> I'm serious. We, we, don't, we don't care about dates. We, I married the right woman. Because most, most, most people would care about dates. She don't care about no dates. She don't care about anniversary. I, again, I'm not against you caring about your anniversary. She don't care about no anniversary. I've been away on anniversaries. She just care. Well, let's do something when because it's gonna be anniversary all year, ain't it? Yeah. Okay. So the day that we got married don't mean no. It, it, what clown? I was in Korea <laughs> on our anniversary, early in marriage. Bishop Boone and I was in Korea. Call back. Happy anniversary. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> Is it making sense? Yeah. Now, I'm not saying that's everybody relationship. Please don't get me wrong. You don't have to. You don't have to adopt that. Most women are not going to adopt that. Mm-hmm. I just married the right woman. Yes. You understand? For me. Yes. For you. Not. Not. That ain't for everybody. So can no man go home and say, "This is what Bishop Jackson said. You shouldn't be caring about." <laughs> Might get in trouble. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then the woman want to lead a church and stuff. We ain't going back to that church. 
No, I'm just telling you what she did. But but our our daughters care. Every one of them care about their birthday and other any other day. They they care. They are very into them. Okay, very. And we try to figure out how did they get there. And I told her she did it. <laughs> She made it special for them and all that. She always had it, that special for them. Okay? So they took that special right over. So when my son-in-law say, Pops, you made it hard for me, I said, no, I did not do that. That was your mother-in-law. <laughs> Get mad at her. Okay? And so they require us to respond in their stuff. Yep, so. It's total requirement. And I'm there most of the time. Because I'm not running as much as I used to. But but when I was running, it was kingdom first. Joandra got had family. There were a lot of people that told her, I got a whole lot to tell y'all, man. Go to second, go to James chapter two. Listen, there was a whole lot of people that told her, You you should be in ministry. You should be doing more ministry. Why? You got this ministry that's doing you should be doing more stuff, traveling with him and all that. She said, No, I'm here to take care of these girls. My my ministry is to get these girls, right. and so then she, so she had them in nursing homes, and they're up in there singing songs to the old people and stuff, and 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 Crystal was the lead singer. <laughs> Young, <Y'all know. laughs> you see, really? and 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 they and having them out selling stuff and all of that. That, that, that was her. It wasn't me. <laughs> but it fit the purpose. You see? The, the, what God brought together, let no man put asunder. He brought it together for purpose. And again, that was the early part of their purpose of their life. But they grown into greater purpose. Now we can trust them in ministry. Man. Look at that. Man. Look at that, man. Wow, look at God. Now, my, again, when they were growing up, my job was to protect them from the congregants. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't let them get involved yeah. so that people would look at them different than anybody else in the church. And I didn't treat them any different than anybody else in the church. Because I didn't want them to be attacked and get mom and people, they, they get angry about the way the congregants mm-hmm. thought about them yeah. because they were my children. Yeah. I, that was my job. Mm-hmm. You see? So that they could grow up and they wanted to be here. Right. Yeah. And all of them do. Isn't that, isn't that awesome? Yeah. All of that had to do <laughs> with the purpose. Yeah. All the, God was, and, and watch, listen to this, is what I want you to know. God was doing all that without our knowledge. Yes. We were doing what we needed to do, but we didn't know why we were doing it necessarily. We, we were trying to be good parents. In being good parents, God was leading so that they could be who they, he wanted them to become and what he wanted to happen. But we are not, we're, we're clueless. So Bishop Boone tells me, we were there, Bishop Boone said, man, you've done a great job with them girls. Bishop, <laughs> bro, we didn't know what we were doing. We, I mean, to be truthful, we didn't know what we were doing. Mm-hmm. We were just doing what we thought was right, and it all came out right. Amen. That, why? God. God. That's right. God. Mm-hmm. We, it, I, I, can't, I can't package, I can't package, pack, package it mm-hmm. and sell it. Because mm-hmm. we were just doing what we know to do. Mm-hmm. And it just worked. Yeah. You see? We think we're following the word of God naturally, right? But God was controlling. You see this? Yes. And He's still controlling it. Amen. Do you, do you, are y'all understanding what I'm talking about? Yes. He's still controlling it because we're not where we're supposed to be, not just as a family. Come on, are you with me? Not, not, we're supposed to be greater than that. And then the whole divine organi- opportunities that you have, all of you, you got to say now, why you come from California? Milwaukee, whatever. <laughs> Not California, Milwaukee. We're not, California back there. Why you come from California? How you get shot? How you get stuck in Charlotte? How you how you come from cold Wisconsin? No, no Milwaukee. 
You're right next door. In Wisconsin. In Wisconsin. Yeah. Well, how you coming into this area? You see? I mean, and the people that brought you here are not here no more. Correct. You see? So how you is here here? See, it's purpose. And when you understand purpose, mm -hmm. that God is now ordering your steps. You're pondering your way. God's ordering your steps. You see that? Are you following me? Yes. Okay. See? That's good. That's good. Are y'all getting this? Yes. Okay. See? Pastor knows this better than anybody. Again, he, he, he doesn't know me. He see me in he see me in um, New Mexico, preaching on the stage at Promise Keepers, mm -hmm. and that's under the stage doing doing the money. <coughs> but they don't know me. They end up in Charlotte. Mm. Well, where's that guy that came to New Mexico? <laughs> he in Charlotte. So guess what? They come to the church. Mm -hmm. First Sunday they walk in. What I tell you? You're supposed to be here in your mind. There it is. Stop looking around. Stop looking around. <laughs> what? Hey, look. You're supposed to be here. Right. You're mine. How you mine? Got, why? Because I wasn't supposed to be in New Mexico. I was, I was replacing a scratch. A guy couldn't make it, and they called me at the last minute, asked me if I could come in and take his spot. At the last minute. I said, I got it. I fled. So if I was supposed to be there, hello, right. you hear me in New Mexico, then you show up in Charlotte, you mine. Yes. That's why God sent me there. It's true. He sent me there so you would know me. Because if, if I don't ever go to New Mexico, no. they don't know me. Right. They don't even look for me. Right. I wasn't planning on coming. Yeah, see that? <laughs> yeah. Our, church, our, ministry, our ministry said, we're going, and I decided, and I asked, okay, sure. At the last minute, go to Promise Keepers, and then he sees me. You 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 think that? You think that this divine purpose? You think that's God doing it? Well, if God is doing that, what else can I trust Him for? You see, if if he's if he's functioning at that level, oh my goodness, my faith should be so serious that my next step is the right step. Yes, Jesus God. Why? Because He's leading my step. Steps are ordered the of the Lord. My next step is my right step. I don't care how many wrong steps I made. Y'all yes, better hear what I'm trying to tell me. My next step is the right step. Why? Because I'm saying to the fig tree, "You're cursed." Right. Yeah, that's good. Why? Why? Not because I'm going to curse you. Because I trust God. Right. So, I, so my next step is my right step. Mm -hmm. See. I don't need to be in anxiety. I don't need to be in frustration. I don't need, I don't know. I worry about nothing. Why? Because my next step is the right step. Because God is leading my steps. They're ordered of you. I'm preaching way better than y'all responding. And I'm still on chapter one. Is this making sense to you? Oh yeah. Making sense to you? Is this, come on. But, but again, is this a different level of faith? Yes, it is. You see? This is a different level of faith. We ain't told you how to get a house. We haven't told you how to get no car. We ain't told you how to get no dog, nor his fleas. <laughs> Yet, all of that is open up to you. Yes, 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 yes. Every bit of that is open up to you. Why? Because I have faith in God. That's good. All of that's, all of that's open up to me. Say to the mountain. <laughs> all of that's mine. All is yours. You are Christ, and Christ is God's. So all of it is open up to me because I'm seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and I'll give righteousness. I'm, I become righteous because of faith in God. God imputes righteousness. I don't become righteous because of my doing. God imputes righteousness. So if I'm seeking God and his righteousness, I must be seeking him in faith, so that the righteousness that he imputes into me, I can now say, all things are mine. Why? Because if I seek God in his righteousness, all these things shall be added. unto me. And the word added there really implies multiply. God never adds. God never does addition. He always multiplies. 
I said, God never adds. He always multiplies. And yes, the way you need to deal with him. You need to deal with him. God, I know you're multiplying this. I know you are multiplying this way beyond. Come on. I, look, you did the fish and the loaves. You did the fish and the loaves. Not one, but twice. So you, you multiply things. Lord, I like that. Yes. Come on. You told us to multiply at the beginning of all of creation. You said to multiply, 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 multiply. We are, we are the beneficiaries of your multiplication. Yes. <laughs> Woo! Man, I tell you, we need to open up that curtain, man, because you got you really need to jump over into the pool. We really need to open up. You don't want to open up the curtain, twin, twin, twin said no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whole nother level, right? But the question is, will you function in it? Will you function in it? You need to write down, again, you need to write down the greatest issue you're dealing with right now in your life. Okay? Matter of fact, you need to take time to do it right now. You need to take time to do it right now. What's the greatest issue you're dealing with right now in your life? Write it down right now. When you write that issue down, <laughs> woo, woo, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, oh, shakada. Oh, oh, see that I got that. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, this is fun right here, man. I just had, I just had an explosion inside of my being. Woo. Mm, mm, mm. It's hard for me not to be. All down on my knees crying all over you right now. There's a serious explosion that just took place on the inside of my being, preacher. Whew, goodness, gracious of life. As you write down this issue, this greatest issue, this is the greatest issue you're facing right now. This is what it exploded on the inside of me. Yeah, that issue right there, that's your joy. You ain't hear what I just told you. God has attached to that issue your joy. Mm. Know, know what the devil tries to do? He tries to attach to that issue anguish. He wants to attach anguish. He wants to attach getting upset and angry. He wants everything attached to it except Joy. Joy. Glory to God. Wow. Count it all. <coughs> Count it all. I can't hear you. Count it all. Joy. Woo. When you fall into diverse temptation. God has set, God has set in that issue joy. A level of joy that is your strength. Why? Because of joy of the Lord is your strength hallelujah. hallelujah Hallelujah! and God is saying I'm attached to joy I'm attached to a level of joy to that issue that if you will just trust me yes. you will experience a level of joy that you can't even imagine yes. ah, da, da, da. you can't even imagine the joy my, it's intoxicating joy. Yes. It is I can't stop laughing joy. Yes. It is I can't oh it's up in the middle of the night, not because I can't sleep, but I can't can't stop praising him joy. Yes. It's the joy of the Lord that has strengthened me. It's strengthening you to deal with the issue and to go beyond it, but it's also strengthening you to help somebody else to go through theirs. Hallelujah. You're going to receive the joy of the Lord to take somebody else through their situation. Come on, I'm going to teach transgressors your way, oh God. I'm going to teach transgressors your way, oh God. Just look, look, just be with me. Just take me through. I'm going to teach transgressors. Ha, ah, Lord, Lord, Lord. So you get excited about not the issue, but the fact that God allows you to have to face the issue. Come on. You start saying, thank you, God. Thank you, God, for this. Yes, yes. 
you ain't re- see see I'm trying to tell you you ain't re- you ain't really grateful yet you ain't really grateful yet we were, we were just in a round table Rick Joyner was talking about the fact that he had a stroke all through the stroke the Lord told him said you got to stay thankful mm. wait a minute wait a minute thankful for the stroke <laughs> no thankful that I'm allowing you to go through this stroke because yes, I'm going to do something I'm going to do something in this stroke that you would have never gotten if you didn't have the stroke yes. Yes. come on in what in everything Oh, that is a oh boy! Isn't that a hard scripture? Yes. Don't you want to take that one out of the Bible? I said, hey, hey, hey! Don't you want to take that one out of the Bible? You don't want that one in the Bible because it doesn't make sense to give God thanks with the issue. It doesn't make sense to give God thanks when it's going bad. It just doesn't make sense. This don't make sense. No, when they stoned them, when they beat them, they ran outside and said, "God allowed us to suffer this thing." We ain't running outside talking about God allowed me to go through this. No, no, no. We're going to be upset and mad. See who we can get back at. Yes. I'm trying to tell you because why? They taught us wrong. Yes, yes sir. Yes. They didn't tell us that faith was for stuff. Yes. Yes. They told us faith was to get stuff. Yes. Not to go through stuff. Yes. My Lord. Faith is to go through stuff so that it opens up everything else in the kingdom. Yes. Everything else is open. So this one thing is designed so that God can open the kingdom to you. Yes. And once that is opened up, nobody can take it from you. And from that point, you will advance at a level that you can't even imagine. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You move. You move in God. You move in God through situations. The kingdom of God suffers violence. Yes. I said the kingdom of God suffers violence. But the violent. How violent have you been this week? You see? Not, not violence against the issue. Not violence against the problem. Not violence against the person. But violence to get to what? Rest. Labor to enter into the rest of the Lord. You must labor. You must fight for faith. I, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. This is, come on. This is worth your time tonight. Glory to God. Glory to God. You're taking ground. You're taking ground. Every day, we're taking ground. Hello. We're taking ground. Every day, we're taking ground. We're winning. Thank you, Lord, for this issue. Thank you for what I have to face. Thank you for what I'm going through. <laughs> Somebody de- de- dealing with... De- my, my, listen, even, even, when you, even when you're dealing with um, habitual sin... Even when you're dealing with habitual sin, grateful. Not why I'm going through it. Grateful. Only you can heal me. Only you can deliver me. Yes. And I'm grateful that I'm going to learn in this situation something that I'll never have learned. David on the top of a spanking house yes. falls into habitual sin. But Psalm 51 tells you what came out of it. <laughs> Why? Because he never lost his relationship with God. Yes. Even in the midst of the habitual sin. <sighs> Take not your spirit from me. Yes. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Woo! Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. And so we are still learning from David's error. What if David is balled up in the corner? Wow. Here Solomon is being born. He's fasting to save the boy's life. Come on, are you? Well, no, the, the child of Bathsheba, and they, they passed away. He's he, he fasting. He said, but "Come on." He said, well, "He said, but when the child dies, bring me some food." Why did he do that? Purpose. God didn't want that child in the earth. But from Bathsheba comes Solomon, yes. comes Jesus. Yes. Yes. Because God, you, God, you, God makes what's wrong right. right. Mm-hmm. 
Yes, yes, yes. yes Finish yes. telling you that. Just told you that. God can take what's wrong and make it right. Right as rain so that he can come through that lineage. What? You mean you couldn't find a pure lineage to come through Jesus? Nope. I need you to know that I can make wrong right. Come on, are you with me? Yes. I can, listen, I can, listen, listen, listen. I can take a prostitute and come through her lineage. That's right. Yes. That's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> I can make what's wrong right. right. You better trust him. Yes. I said, you better trust him. Yes. You better trust him. You might feel real bad in your life right now. Say, I ain't, I'm not living the life I'm supposed to be living. But God can make what's wrong right. as rain. <laughs> as rain he can fix it he'll fix it for you that's when you say when he do it <laughs> come on you want to say when he do it for the good stuff Yes. come on hello somebody Yes. come on yeah he'll do it he will do it without a shadow of a doubt <sighs> so father tonight we thank you so much we thank you for our issues <laughs> we thank you for the issues that we're facing come on y'all ain't gonna help me somebody gotta help me we thank you for the issues that we gotta go through we thank you for the fact that you trust us to go through them to handle them we thank you Lord we're grateful full of gratitude our gratefulness is in you because we know you can handle it father greater is he huh that is where in me than he in the world so you're doing something in me you said according you said <laughs> exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask or think according to the power that work is in us that's how you're functioning that's how you're functioning you're functioning in and through us hallelujah we trust you to do it so every issue that we face, every issue that we're going through, we right now in the, in the precious name of Jesus, we bring them and lay them at your feet, at your altar, trusting that you are now fixing every one of them. And Lord, we call into this earth and into this dimension and to this dispensation. We call our purpose. Glory to God. We call our purpose into the place that it should be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We might have been behind in our purpose. But Lord, right now, according to your hand, you are catching us up. Catch us up. Catch us up that we are functioning in our purpose place in the name of Jesus. And we don't think, we don't think at all that we've, we have accomplished our purpose. We don't think by any stretch of the imagination we've arrived. We know, God, you had so much more for us. God, there are so many more people that we must touch and must come into our lives. We know every person, God, that have come into our lives, you brought them because it hits and meets the purpose that you have for our lives so that the purpose in their lives would advance as well. We bless you. Hallelujah. We bless you for it, God. We bless you for it, God. You've chosen us in you before the foundation of the world. And Lord, we will live holy and without blame before you in love. Hey, hey, glory to our God. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Woo! Thank you right now for the men that you are preparing to meet the women that are in purpose. Bring them right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the women that are ready for the men. Hallelujah, that's functioning in their purpose. Thank you, Lord, that you're bringing them right now. And they fit. 
They see it and they know it. And they know it. Glory to God and at the very root of everything. We curse everything that don't supposed to be a part of us. Everything that don't supposed to be a part of our purpose. Everything that we have decided to try to do on our own. We say in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We curse it at his very root. Like Jesus did the fig tree. You will not bear fruit. Not from this day forward. Hallelujah. You will die. Instantaneously. Because you are not attached to the purpose that God has for my life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We give you praise, Father. We give you honor for it. Hallelujah. Lord, that those that you have called into business, those that you have given the purpose of now being business, God, we call forth every person that they need. We call forth every 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 piece of finances that they need. We say every resource and everything that they need to make that business function out of the purpose that you've called them into. Let it be so. Let it be now. Hallelujah. We bless you now for it. We glorify you now for it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Spirit of the Lord was saying unto you that there is so much that he's going to do in your life that is going to literally blow your mind. He's going to do it. He's going to do it as, a, as, a, as, as an example to the generation. Ah, uh, uh, you were born for such a time as this. You were born for to function in this level of anointing, function in this level of ability. And the Lord would say to you, don't ever worry about him taking care of you because he will always take care of you. He's going to protect you at levels that you can't even imagine. So that you can come bring forth that that he wants to be brought forth. Thank you. And I would say to you from this day forward. Yes. You're going to see such an increase. Yes. You. You're going to see such an increase. That way before you are in your 20s. Yes. Way before you're in your 20s. People are going to be getting wisdom from you. Yes. You're going to be talking to them. You. At levels that Jesus talked to the scribes and the Pharisees. Yes. When he was in the temple. Yes. That's the level that you're going to function. And, and why is this? You didn't even ask for it. Thank you. you didn't even ask for it. But it's yours. Hallelujah. But it's yours. Hallelujah. But it's yours. Hallelujah. But it's yours. Oh yeah, he's taking twin. He's taking care of twin too. Then uh, I know that your, your your question will he take care of twin? He's taking care of twin. He's taking care of your sister too. But it's, this is for you to function in. Yes. And she's going to walk along with you. Jesus name by the power and the authority of heaven yes. hallelujah Amen. so the Lord will say to you also that he's matching your desire to take care of your mother because you said that you said that in your heart I want to take care of my mother have you said that yeah have you told me that? You told me you want to take care of your mother? Never. But that's what the Lord heard. The Lord said, He's going to give you the ability to take care of her. In Jesus' name. But it won't be all always. I can't tell her her part. Just tell you your part. All right? Amen? Amen. All right. 
I don't know if you want to, but give the Lord a praise offering tonight. Live stream, Facebook Live. Hey, I think, I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking, you might want to share this. I think you might want to share this. You might want somebody else to get this. So I, I would, if I were you, don't waste time. Go ahead on and share it now. Get it out there to somebody that needs this. Make sure they can hear it as well. Because I believe that this is something that somebody really needed to hear tonight. And, 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 and it's going to increase their lives tremendously. I bless you. I thank you for, so much for being with us. Bye-bye. What you learned?